Front Tutorial for Beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video on how to use Front. Front is a cloud-based platform that allows teams to work together on emails, social media messages, and other forms of communication in real time. Instead of having individual inboxes, Front brings everything into one shared inbox, making it easy to collaborate, delegate tasks, and stay organized. In this tutorial, we will cover the basics of Front and provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to use it. We will show you how to create an account, give you an overview of the features and functionalities, and demonstrate how to add contacts and content in Front. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Front, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description. So go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct homepage. Once you're on the homepage, look for the Get Started button, which is typically located at the top right corner of the homepage. Clicking this will bring up a registration form. Here you will be required to fill in details such as your first and last name, work email, job title, your company name, the industry in which your company operates, your company size, and your phone number. After providing all the necessary information, click the Submit button to proceed. You will then be redirected to a page where you'll set up a secure password for your account. Once that's done, hit the Sign Up button to proceed. The next stage is Verification. Front will send a code to your work email. Copy this code and paste it in the designated fields on the website. Upon entering the correct code, your account will be verified automatically. Following successful verification, you will be taken to your account dashboard. The dashboard in front is your digital command center, hosting an array of features designed to facilitate seamless communication and efficient project management. At the top of the dashboard, there is a top menu that houses primary tabs. Starting with the Inbox tab, it offers you a unified view of your incoming email, starred messages, drafts, and sent emails, quite like a one-stop shop for all your email management needs. Following the Inbox, you'll find the Calendar tab, your personal scheduling assistant. It syncs seamlessly with your work email, Google Calendar, and Microsoft Calendar, adding a layer of convenience to your scheduling tasks. Next in line is the Contacts tab, your directory for shared contacts, private contacts, auto-created contacts, lists, and accounts. It also enables you to import and create new contacts with ease. Moving ahead, the Analytics tab awaits with valuable metrics and reports, including data on team performance, conversations, tags, and message templates. It's like an intuitive mirror reflecting your team's communication dynamics. Then you have the Knowledge Base tab. Think of it as your digital library where you can store, view, and manage content. The Sequences tab follows next, allowing you to oversee the order of your communications. The Settings is your personalization hub, where you can manage company and personal settings to make Front work best for you. Lastly, the Profile section is all about you. Here, you can manage your personal profile information, ensuring your details are always up to date. With a thorough understanding of the dashboard and its features, you can fully leverage the power of Front to streamline your team's communications and overall workflow. Now, let's see how to add contacts in Front. Adding contacts in Front is a convenient way to streamline your communication process. By having all your contacts in one place, you can swiftly access, communicate, and manage your interactions with key stakeholders, be it clients, partners, or team members. To start adding contacts in front, go to the Contacts tab located at the top left corner of your screen. Clicking on this tab will take you to the Contacts page, where you can view any contacts you have previously added. Front provides two methods to add new contacts. The first method is Create, which allows you to manually create a new contact from scratch. The second method is import, offering the ability to import contacts from sources such as CSV files, Salesforce, HubSpot, or Outlook directory. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll focus on creating a new contact from scratch. To create a new contact, click on the Create button. Upon clicking Create, a sidebar appears on the right side of your screen. This sidebar contains various fields that you'll need to fill out to complete your new contacts profile. The Name field is where you enter the name of the person whose contact information you're adding. In the Access field, specify whether the contact will be shared or private. Account is where you associate the contact with a particular account. Under Contact Information, 
Provide the contact's email address, phone number, and Twitter handle if available. The description field allows you to write a brief note or description related to the contact. The list option is used to add the contact to a specific distribution list. If you need to add more information, you can click on Show More. This expands the form for additional options like adding a link. After inputting all the necessary information, click Create to finalize the addition of your new contact. By adding contacts to your front account, you enrich your communication hub with essential details, making correspondence efficient and personalized. It's a simple yet effective way to keep your communication efforts organized and on track. Now, let's see how to add content in Front. Front's versatile platform allows you to not only manage your communications, but also to optimize your team's knowledge sharing with features like the Knowledge Base. Adding content to the Knowledge Base in Front is an effective way to centralize information, making it easily accessible for your team. This can include articles, guides, FAQs, or any other form of content that could be beneficial for your team or customers. To add content, navigate to the top left corner of your dashboard and click on the Knowledge Base tab. This will direct you to the Knowledge Base where you can view existing content or add new articles. If you haven't added any content yet, this page will appear as a blank canvas ready for your input. To begin the process of adding content in front, first you need to add a title. Look for the provided field and enter a title for your content. Make sure it is clear, concise, and gives good indication of the subject matter of your content. Once you've added a title, move on to the larger field located below the title field. This is where you will write or paste the main content of your knowledge base article. Think of it as the meat of your article, the substantial, informative part that holds the most value for your audience. Front provides numerous formatting options to ensure your content is as readable and presentable as possible. You can choose to format your text as headings or paragraphs, change the color of your text, highlight important sections, or make selected text bold, italic, or underlined. These options are neatly laid out for you, making it easy to format your content as you write. Additionally, Front offers other features to enrich your content further. Using the toggle options, you can attach files, insert inline images, insert video links, create tables, insert horizontal rules, or add code blocks. These features allow you to enhance the visual appeal and functionality of your content, making it more engaging for your audience. After you have added and formatted your content, go to the top right corner of the page and click on the Publish button. This will make your content live and accessible to your team or customers. By systematically adding content in front, you create a shared repository of knowledge that empowers your team and provides a valuable resource for your customers. It's an impactful way to streamline information access and foster a culture of shared learning. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using front. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching, and take